to this mama's house. Today I'm sharing with you a day in my life. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tabitha and on this channel I share all about homemaking and cooking, cleaning, grocery hauls, and days in my life like this. So if you're into that sort of video, I would love to have you subscribe. Today is a pretty normal, typical day around here. The kids are downstairs right now just doing their morning chores, getting ready for the day so that we can start in on our homeschool. And I am upstairs using my planner. This is the on the go planner from Well Planned Gal. I've really liked this planner. It's just a bit small for me. So I actually ordered a custom planner that's a bit bigger and I'm getting so antsy and excited for it to come. I'm definitely a planner girl. Love the pen and paper aspect of planning my life. <laughs> if you missed it, my last video on my faith channel is actually all about planning. So I'll leave that video linked below and you can hear me talk about how you can glorify God in our planning and our homemaking. So I just placed an order as well for Walmart. They're gonna deliver some groceries, so I'll share that with you in a little bit. And we're actually getting ready to do homeschool here in a few minutes. And one of my new tricks on how to get the kids to all come together and sit down quickly and get ready for school, like no complaining, they rush to see me whenever I tell them is to get a fun activity for them to do. And lately it has been slime. I know, don't, just hold on mama. I know slime can be a trigger word for a lot of mamas, but recently I have discovered peachy baby slime and you guys, it is the best slime. It's not sticky and messy and they're actually the sponsor of today's video. So let me tell you all about that. For many years, slime was banned from our house. We would buy all the ingredients to make it and it would just turn into a sticky, frustrating mess. Then I discovered Peachy Babies and I'm now a recovering slime hater. This slime is so good. Instead of spending tons of money on all the ingredients to make slime, we can just buy a jar of Peachy Babies and know that it's going to be the perfect slime and so fun to play with. All of their slime comes with adorable charms, vibrant colors, and amazing smells. This slime entertains my kids for hours. I get questions often wondering where my kids are while filming videos. Well, they're probably playing with slime. My kids said Peachy Babies is the best slime in the world. So if you would like to try the best slime in the world for your kids, you can add four to your cart and get one free today using the link and discount code in the description box but act fast, they drop new slime every Friday and it always sells out. This is a perfect sensory activity that your kids will love. Thanks to Peachy Babies for sponsoring today's video. So I'm gonna get them started on slime while I finish up my morning chores. I still wanna do some laundry and tidying up in the kitchen. I always like to have the house just like clean and reset before we sit down for school. That way it's not in my mind like, oh man, I got dishes in the sink right now. It's just I can focus on school alone. And I am going to be making a little homeschool binder for my toddler, so I'll share that with you as well. It's gonna be a fun day and I'm really happy to have you here. Thank you. 
order is already here. Doo -doo -doo. So this grocery haul is all for Easter dinner. We're having a delicious Easter dinner here. My mother-in-law is bringing a ham and a macaroni and salad. And then I'm in charge of the rest, so let me show you what we got. So my husband loves salads, and we are gonna have like a veggie tray for the kids and then a salad. So I got sugar, snap peas, baby carrots, celery, broccoli, cucumbers, peppers, and lettuce for the salad slash veggie tray. And then my husband loves these like ham roll-ups, so you put cream cheese on the ham and roll up a green onion. These green onions are looking a little like, I don't know, limp. I might have to put them in a little glass of water in the fridge to kind of perk them up a little bit. But we're gonna have little ham roll ups as well. And then I'm gonna make a carrot cake. This is my godmother's recipe. So I have carrots here and then I'm gonna use these little eggs to decorate the top. And then I have some peach jam, which is one of the ingredients, some applesauce. And then I have some powdered sugar for the frosting. And then we'll sprinkle some coconut chips on top as well. All the other ingredients I already had. And then I'm also going to be making a um, fruit salad. And I use the Natasha's Kitchen fruit salad recipe. She puts like honey and lemon and lime juice on it. It's so good. So I have apples, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, grapes. And then I already have a pineapple and I already have lemons so here's lime and then I have everything that I need to make potato salad I'm gonna make a potato salad but I didn't have any pickles so I got this jar of pickles and I didn't realize how huge it was I thought this was a tiny jar but there you go so this is my grocery haul from Walmart today it was $100 total to have it delivered so that included the tip and everything and I'm gonna get this stuff put away I might want to clean out the fridge a little bit but we really need to get started on school so So here is the toddler learning folder that I'm working on putting together. I'm gonna be using this for my three-year-old and my two-year-old, well, he's three and a half, so my three and a half-year-old and my two-year-old. And the first page is the letters. I got this from Teachers Paid Teachers. I'll leave the link down below. JDA made it. She is an amazing homeschool mom. If you do not follow her, you definitely should. She has the best way to teach reading, young kids how to read. So we're gonna go through the alphabet, but we don't say the letter name, we say the sound. So it'd be A, B, K, D, F, etc. Then doing the numbers, colors. There's literally dog hair all over this. You gonna go outside and play? No! And then shapes. And then so this page right here. You wanna go outside? Hold up, I'm gonna help you get ready to go outside. All right, back inside. So for this page, I'm going to cut these squares out, laminate them. You can hear my laminator over there warming up. And then I'm going to use these Velcro dots. These are clear Velcro dots and put them on here. That way they can match the colors. So I'm gonna work on finishing up this toddler folder. I'm really excited to start using it with the kids. I think they are going to love it.
his and hers iced coffee. Can you guess which one's his and which one's hers? <laughs> it is Friday in Lent, so we are gonna make dinner early today. We're all getting really hungry from fasting. Um, tonight we're having cod. I'm not a big fan of cod, so I'm hoping to doctor this up and make it tasty. One of my daughters doesn't like it either, so we'll see if I can work some magic and make that delicious. Um, Brussels sprouts, we're gonna cut those up, fry them up in some bacon grease, and then some white rice to go along with it. So for this cod, I decided to make a garlic butter to just pretty much drench all over the fillets. So what I did is I melted a stick of butter and then I added several tablespoons of olive oil to that. And then I added paprika, salt, and minced garlic. I stirred that up and topped the fillets with it. And then I squeezed some lemon juice on top. And then I baked it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then for the last few minutes, I set it to high broil so that we could just kind of get a little bit of a crispy top. Then I prepped the Brussels sprouts, so I just washed them and then cut them up and I used some bacon grease that I had saved and I cooked them in that and I added garlic and salt and pepper and I have like this 21 seasoning that I love to use on Brussels sprouts and I try to cook them until they're pretty crispy. We like a little bit slightly burnt <laughs> Brussels sprouts cooked the rice. I usually like to soak my rice, but I totally forgot about that. So we just had it as is and it turned out really good. The cod actually was pretty tasty. I still didn't love it. I think it's a texture thing, but overall it was a great meal. And then after dinner is when we all do our chores. So each of my kids has a dinner time chore and just quickly, in case you need some ideas, my two oldest girls, they do the dishes after dinner. So they are 13 and 12. And then my nine-year-old son works on cleaning the kitchen and putting any of the food away. My six-year-old son cleans the dining room. He clears the table, pushes in the chair, vacuums the rug, wipes the table off. While everybody is doing the dinnertime chores, that's usually when mom helps the little ones with bath. And then I also like to vacuum, mop, and do laundry. So we all have our jobs at night, but it just is really helpful for us each to have a part in doing the nightly chores. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Don't forget to check out Peachy Baby Slime. It is the best slime. It is so fun. I have fun playing with it. You guys will love it too. And it's such a good deal. You can't miss it. Buy three, get one free. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah.